So, what I wanted to talk about today is the current opium epidemic in the United States and how this can be addressed and how it should be addressed, uh, as well as some of the, the many facets of it. So, people know it's been in, it's been trending and whatnot that uh, the opium ha opium deaths have been on the rise and that the, the use of opiates has been on the rise in the United States and you know this is something that uh, affects a large a large group of people affect and it's tragic and so and uh, and so and there has been no action you know not just no action by the Obama administration they have actively taken steps to stop the DEA from handling uh, the drugs that are entering uh, this country and that and how they're being used by pharmaceutical companies and you know, it, it really shows you what corruption at the at the top will do to any efforts to uh, uh, destabilize uh, a corrupt uh, corrupt operations and uh, you have and you have people with better intentions who are looking to eliminate or at least you know severely hinder these these operations that destroy lives you now and in this uh, this case of the of the ODC director uh, uh, Joseph Ran Ranazin Ranazizi uh, you know he he was leading a fight against against these these organizations against against the uh, the Cardinal Health organization and uh, and the McKenzie McKenzie organization which are Fortune 500 companies and you know, which were distributing opiates to to pharmacies and you know in mass in large amounts and you know, he he received a call from you know, one of Eric Holder's top people, who was number two uh, guy, and it was told to, you know, this is, you know, them put, the Obama putting the, pr the pressure on him to stop what he's doing, to allow, you know, the drugs to continue to flow into the, the U.S., and, you know, it, you know, this is how the pharmaceutical companies, you know, are making money off of these things, and, you know, it's, it's uh, the, the war in Afghanistan, you, know, you look at it, and it's it's like how are these two things related? Well, they, they you know, the war in Afghanistan we've seen that opium has has drastically increased. You know, even though you know, while while the U.S. has been there, you know, in this you know, it rose some four hundred percent in I think two thousand four to two thousand eight, or you know, and it's continued to remain. I mean, it's continued to remain high, and that's the this is the point that the opium. You know, is you know, it has to go someplace. It's not going to flow into you know every place, but the place you are. It's it. You know, when you're producing that um, that amount of it, you know, it's it's going to find its way back into the United States, and are protecting the the production of that amount of it. And so this is the this is the you know the problem that you know with. We have a, a policy in Afghanistan that to protect, you know, these these uh the production of opium, you know, and you know declaring war on terrorism, but you know flooding using using that excuse to protect the this opium and you know ship it to other places for the con use of control and a, a literal you know opium war against the United States, and you know people say like uh, you know they should legalize and this sort of thing they're either you know they have some tie to, you know, they have some way of making money off of or profiting from it themselves, and it's ideological, or they simply aren't aware of how effective, you know, campaigns to eliminate, you know, drug use can be. You know, one of the things that, you know, LaRouche has outlined you know, a number of uh, means by which you, you could, you know, have an effective war on drugs in the U.S. and abroad. And you know that's and just and you know take take out you know destroy the crop re remove it from the you know and uh, remove the uh, the existing substances you know substances or the amounts of it and really you know put a cap on it and from that from then 
you have, you know, once that's happened, you have to, you know, present people with an alternative. You have to say, okay, well now, you know, you don't have to do this, but we're gonna get, we're gonna, you know, point you in an, in a direction that's that's good. But maybe you, you know, give you give credits for them to go back to school. Maybe you, you know, through there's new jobs in, in infrastructure that are that are you know that are useful that are that are coming about that could you know, you, you are putting through in in concert with with those efforts. So, but the point is that you know these things can be the drugs can be eliminated and that you know there should be campaigns for that and you know that when it's paired with economic development with improvement in the quality of life people don't you know don't search these things out they they you know they avoid them they you know they shun them they they think it's you know it become you change the cultural outlook from one of acceptance to one of you know non-acceptance and that's where it should be it's, that's how you know yeah, that's how you change it. You know, the the orientation of a population towards its you know, for towards its future, towards a better future. And it you know, this is, it's a yeah. So I was just thinking of the the last comment I was gonna raise is is that uh you know Obama, uh making comments about uh or the U uh, about the Philippine attempts to crack down on on the drug lords and the you know they're in taking on and having a you know a task force or a SWAT team or whatever taking on you know drug lords and these sort of things there's going to be you know potentially deaths yeah you know, and there's going to be people being hurt and it's you know in general a tough thing to do but it's worthwhile it affects it affects everyone for the better if you if they if there's a commitment to it and if it's if it's done right so yeah, that should be it. Should be done, and you know, it's, it shows that the what the Obama administration's intentions are as far as the Philippines. That they, that you know, we don't intend to actually help them. We want them to remain an ally, but not actually develop them as as people. So that's what I had. To, that's what I was thinking, and uh, that's going to be all for today. And hope to see you all in the future.